Hello there, my friends. So I got these Skechers from Amazon today, and I'm pretty excited about it. These are super lightweight, and um, they're pretty cool. I wanted the black on black, but that's okay. Black on charcoal is pretty cool. These are go runs. I want to do a little bit of like light running and uh, heavy walking with these. And uh, you can see, I wasn't aware of this, but the shape, it's kind of like a, you know, heel to toe kind of roll kind of thing going on there. Looks pretty cool. Like there might be some traction here. And this is an interesting little channel. I don't know what that's all about. But here's the thing. So when I read the review on this, like I got these off of Amazon, right? And uh, I know there's like, I've ordered shoes off of Amazon before. I remember ordering New Balance shoes that were non-slip for work and I felt like they were the most uncomfortable New Balance shoes I had ever bought and New Balance shoes are usually pretty comfortable, right? And I thought, this is great. New Balance, lightweight, non-slip. No, they were heavy. and But that's another story. So well, basically what I'm saying though is that um, I am open to the possibility that there may be fake or counterfeit shoes available online. And uh, the reason I bring that up is because one of the things, one of the caveats when I bought this was that there was a comment under here. And this guy says, uh, you know, he bought two pairs. One was perfect. The other was maybe counterfeit. And then he goes into the details. And when he looks at these, um, you look at these pictures here, he identifies that there are three holes in the top of the shoe and the one and the original one, and then the other shoe, he says there are two holes. So when I got my shoes and I saw that there were two holes instead of a third hole here, I thought, oh, bugger. I got um, a counterfeit pair, maybe. Now, I wore them and they're pretty comfortable. So, uh, you know, so far so good. So just in case, I went to the, um, Skechers official website, right? So I went to their Go Run Consistent. That's the name of this brand. You can see this is the same shoe. Uh, it's got the same design. It's got the same toe thing going on there. It's got everything. Well, look at the official Skechers website. There's only two holes in this part right up here, just like this. But here's what makes it even more interesting. Look at this picture. There's a third hole. See? Right here, there's a third one. So, I don't know what to think now. I don't know if it's an updated version or if they're making two different versions of the shoe. You go back here, there's no third hole. Basically the exact same shape underneath the shoe in the picture as mine, except the color is different. So that's not a big deal to me. There's two on this side, two holes in the top. Here, there's two holes in the top. So there's only one picture on the official website that has three holes. Should I be concerned about that? I I don't know. You know, I don't know. So it's it's interesting to say the least. Here again, there's two here. There's three there. <laughs> there's two there. So I'm not sure what's going on with the counterfeit allegation. Um, I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying that I'm not sure. And if anybody else out there can enlighten me as to why this discrepancy with this particular style of Skechers shoes, sometimes having three holes in this part here or sometimes having two, I'd love to know because it's still, I'm still within the time frame where I could return this if I wanted these if I wanted to. All right, great. So that's my video. I hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, anybody that's as confused as I am. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. And if you like the video, if it helps you smash like. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe because that helps me super much. So have a good one. Take care.